Can you start? I'm Hannah. I'm Selena. I'm Lauren. And I'm Ripley. We're going to do a question and answer session. I'm okay. not sure why I'm doing this. Because you I'm wanted just, to? Because you're I, cool. You said whatever. you wanted to. Okay. Okay. Me and Hannah are like off the screen. Uh, okay. so Which hard. was the scariest moment of your life? Which? Oh, God. Yes. Or Hannah. what? It says which, but you can... It should what? say what? I know, it should. Hannah, you go. Whatever. But it says which. Okay. Um, I don't know. You didn't, haven't had any scary moments. Move on. Go I ahead, have. Selena. Um, I have? Yes, I have. I'm like, what? At the, um, at Rega Poo's Park, before oh, the basketball game, it was me, my friend, um, well, hi, Cherish, my friend Sarah, and my friend Alex, and Cherish's little sister. And on my little, my little, uh, sewer thingy. Okay, I don't like this question because your story's kind of boring. Let's pick another one. It's too long. I was on a haunted corn maze. This question requires too long of an answer. Move on. Okay. What are your hobbies? Panic. Ow. Dancing. Missy! Hi, kitty. Come here, kitty. Ew, you got, like, poop on your butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. She always does. Uh, okay. My hobbies would be piano and cheerleading and talking. Talking. Um, I'm gonna talk. I'm text my I am a choir freak, and so I'm not that in a lot yes, of choirs, and not I bad. sing a whole lot, like yes, a she lot, does. a lot, a lot. Yes, you she do does. sing around the house, though. I do, um, and I like to do musical theater, and I like to watch theater and be in theater and <laughs> so theater. read about theater. So yeah, I gotta fix my hands. on. And I like. Soccer and talking <laughs> and texting. And then, yeah. and texting? Yeah. That's, you consider that a hobby? Hannah does. I do. I consider yeah. talking a hobby. I text a lot. Okay, next question. Okay, um, if you were granted three wishes, what would you ask for and why? Ooh, I oh, I know. God. Oh, jeez. Well, my first question would be to have more wishes. That's, huh. that's such a conceited wish. What? That's like you only greedy. got granted three. That's a greedy wish. <gasps> Fine. Okay. <laughs> I, w <laughs> I wish to have a lot of money. I feel like Kitty Cat. I wish. Like I know. That. I wish to go on the biggest shopping spree ever. Oh my god. <laughs> you have a lot of money. You sound like a self, such a selfish little bitch, Hannah. I'm. Excuse me. <laughs> you sound really selfish. Just content, content. Uh, I don't know what their one would be. I, I would want, my wishes would be, a huge shopping spree. Oh, oh yeah. Um, my other one, how many do I get? Three? Me yeah. and Hannah oh, are so limited. And are going to be over here like, help children across the Oh, no, world. I'm not done yet. My second one would be to end child and animal abuse. And my third one would be to give my mom everything she ever wanted. Um, I think I would wish for a Maybe. long and happy life, but not too long. Like, I wouldn't want to live forever because I think humans have a limited lifespan for a reason. And so I'd want, but I'd want to die happy and not in a tragic way. And so not then, painful. Yeah, sure. Um, and then I think I would wish that everybody was able to die happy and live a long and fulfilled life. And then I don't really think I need a third wish because I think just the everybody dying happy and living a long and fulfilled life covers probably every world problem there is. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I would wish for um, hmm, probably like ever how would you say everlasting life after like you hit a certain age for my family? Eternity? No. Immortality? I don't even know what that means. Like, <laughs> so <forever>. yeah, <laughs> we'll go with that. We'll go with that. After you hit a certain age, that way you don't have to be like sad or anything. Okay, so and you'd have really young grandparents. Okay. <laughs> that <laughs> that um, means you would live forever, and the world would have so many people, and then the world can't hold. Okay, you would die at a certain age, too. Okay, whatever. You would die right. at 100. Next okay. question. Yeah, there we go. If okay. you could do one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, I know. Oh, I don't... You start, Ripley. I don't know. Y'all okay. are too young to know. I would... 
No, I don't know. I, well, at this moment in time, I would, I would probably do theater for the rest of my life. I love I'd just it. do something that I'm happy yeah. doing every day of my life, and I know Although I would Although I do want to be a teacher, which does not involve theater, unless I become a theater teacher, but I don't want to do that. So, What's I don't know. What are you going to teach? I would stay with my mommy for the rest of my life. For real? For real. Okay, whatever. Like this. Like age 40? Okay, whatever. Like Go age ahead. 40. I'm almost okay. 60. Is there someone you look up to and why? Yes, there is. It's her. Aww, <laughs> that's so sweet. <laughs> Aww. Okay, so you know? I'm the big sister, if that makes sense. I'm not just some random old person. I'm just, in this <laughs> we're, the, we're just the friends. <laughs> okay, so you know? Um. Is there someone I look up to? No, I look up to a bunch of people. Mother, maybe? And I, and I turn out me, so I don't really know that that's a good thing. So pass. Um, I have multiple people I look up to as well. But I think you look up to people in different situations differently. So, like, um, like in life in general, I look up to, like, my mom and, like, my dad, both, because I think they're both combined are, like, great people. And, but then, like, in certain situations, I look up to certain people. Like, if I want to be young and immature, I would look up to her. And, like, so I think it just depends. But, yeah, in general, probably my mom and then, like, my grandpa. My papa, because he's the best person ever. <laughs> he is. Okay. He really is. I would look up to my dad because of his crazy wild Oh my dreams. god. Like, that he will come to that and that he eats cheese every morning. Yeah. It's, no. Cheese is his breakfast, in case you <laughs> didn't know. Just cheese? Yeah. Cheese. And he'll make tea, but he'll forget that he made it and leave it in the microwave for me. <laughs> and then I'll open the microwave and it'll smell so bad. Nice. Cheese. Okay, next question. Is okay. Very, what are three actually? things you can't live without? Okay. okay, this is easy. Well, one of them is easy Your for me. Your cell phone? Yes, one is my phone. <clears throat> Two is my friends. And three is my family. One's my phone. An iPod. Electronics. Yeah. Two is my mommy. This is what come to. <laughs> Two is my mommy. And three is friends slash animals. So these two bozos. Well, I guess these three bozos. Lauren, you bozo. <laughs> and Lauren overthinks I'm surprised I'm, I'm surprised I'm included in that. Whatever. Okay, because okay, so, Ripley's head ain't even in there. Come here, Ripley. I am? Oh. <laughs> so, um, I, I could not live without my family just because they're crazy. Your family. And I love them to death. And I yeah, have the, probably crazy. the best family situation in America. And then, um, yeah, amazing. yeah, and then can't live without my bed. I love <laughs> you my can't. bed. Your sleep, I, I knew love, you would say maybe, that. Maybe it's not my bed, maybe it's my sleep time because I can sleep anywhere. Mm -hmm. So, but I prefer my bed. But, um, and then third thing, oh, <coughs> my voice because without my voice, I could not talk or sing or anything, and that's what I love to do. So, <laughs> I should probably. <laughs> I was I couldn't live without my voice. That would suck really badly. Okay. Um, family, friends, and anything else. That's just my two main things. Okay. I can my my friends that I do have that I couldn't live without. I consider family, so I yeah. don't include mm -hmm. them. So okay, go ahead. Okay. What is your biggest pet peeve? Oh, oh god. Okay. I got so mine. when you like erase something. And then Hannah does it all the time, and it drives me crazy. She's erased she'll, the whole thing. No, she'll oh. put the eraser stuff Ew, back. there is a toenail on Ew. here. Okay, Ew. sorry, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, if there's, like, eraser stuff, like, on the end of the pencil, like, on the eraser, like, hanging off, like, like little strings. I cannot stand that. And Hannah, she'll, like, erase it, and then she'll, like, put them all back on the thing and be like, Look, Hannah, look! I'm like, no, it's not very nice, but it drives me crazy. I have two biggest pet peeves. One is smacking like this. I can't stand it. It annoys me. I don't want to see your food. I'm not on a seafood diet. <laughs> that was clever. <laughs> right? See, I'm on a seafood diet. Seafood, I eat it. Okay, yeah. And then my second one 
would be stupidity. I cannot stand downright stupidity. That's like, like you think about it and then you say it and you know it's stupid. Like it annoys me. Like if you say it like us three say it, it's just like it's just stupid. You don't even think about it. I don't think a horror. But some people don't think what you think is stupid is stupid. So stupidity. I'm, I'm is talking a like blatant thing. stupidity. Okay, whatever. Um, I cannot stand people who are not open to others' opinions or who will are open to others' opinions but won't. Consider them. Won't, won't accept them and won't um, won't use them in forming their own opinions because I just consider that close-minded and ignorant and that's what has caused a lot of the problems in life and everything for all people. Go ahead. Wait, so it would be like almost like always thinking you're right? Yeah. When it's an opinion? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, but that too. That's that. I don't like that. Go okay. Ahead. My... <laughs> What is wrong with you? <laughs> they are like, what's your pet peeve? Mine would be when teachers erase the board, but they don't erase every single mark. <gasps> I oh hate my that. gosh. Because yes. I am so OCD, I have to get up and, like, in math, I'll get up and erase the board with him, Mr. With him looking, and he'll be like, oh, sorry, and I'll sit back down. Like, it bothers it, the crap I out of me. I can't say that either. Okay, okay, next question. Okay, are you a light sleeper? It Heck no. <laughs> <laughs> we no. all know that. <laughs> <sighs> uh, for me, it depends. Like, sometimes I can be, like, the deepest sleeper ever. Man, I'll slap you and you won't wake up. Uh, yeah, be like, Hannah! <laughs> and then sometimes, okay. He's all throw something at me, I won't get, wake okay, up. Okay, so sometimes, then, we sometimes got Sometimes, it. yeah. Go ahead, Selena. Um, it just depends, like, the, I don't know, it depends, like, how tired I was. Because if I was, like, super tired, then I'm in a deep sleep. If I'm not super tired, I'm, like, really, really light. Or I just don't sleep. So. Me, heck no. Mine depends because I can hear in my sleep, but I won't acknowledge it. Like, I okay. like if my mom were to come in my room and talk, I'd be able to hear, but I wouldn't acknowledge it and not get up. Okay. I would forget about so. it. <laughs> okay. What do you f prefer? Eating salsa or dancing it? Oh, God. I like eating salsa. 